I think, therefore I am. No, 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 no. Those words of Descartes is what set humankind up for all the struggles. It is the greatest affliction for all of us. Hi, I'm Ellie Bierman, and you can find me at Thrive. Don't just survive. Dot com. So what am I talking about? It's your thinking that gets you in trouble. It's your thoughts that cause you stress. The habit of living in your left brain has you thinking that you're going insane and your life is a mess. There's a very simple solution to end the struggle you feel. It's the only thing in this world that's not an illusion. It's the only thing that's real. Begin now to go within, to go into the silence. That's where bliss and nirvana reside. Accept what is and simply abide. Your answers lie within. When the thinking stops, you'll tune in. Heaven is inside. Stop resisting what is and let yourself ride the flow. Go. Just be you in the present moment that's really all there is stop living in the past and future cause neither does exist you are not a human doing you're not even a human being you are a divine spirit find yourself your true self to know thyself and finally live the life the one that's meant for you the one worth seeing meditation will get you there meditation will take you where you are meant to be close your eyes to finally see and simply be no matter what is going on in your life, when you stop resisting all the strife, when you silence your ego mind, you will then find peace. No words can describe the bliss you will know once you do this. Now begin, go now, discover your wow. You only live in the now. Allow your vast know-how and your new insights to become your delights. Go now, discover your well. You only live in the now. Allow your vast know-how and your new insights to become your delights. Your new insights will become your delight. Meditation as practice for thousands and thousands of years in the ancient cultures, in the very spiritual places today in the world, was never created or practiced to reduce your blood pressure or your stress or to program affirmations. Meditation is to take you out of your ego mind. That's what's making up all the words and all the pain and all the depression and all the worry and thoughts it's what you think about and you know what that ego mind that voice it's not even yours it's a voice of people when you were too young when you're a little kid and you couldn't block out the messages coming in they created all these subconscious programs they created your self-image. And when things happen, you think, you react. So anything that you're worrying about, well, first of all, it's probably never going to happen. And secondly, it's a habit. It's just a habit. And you can change a habit. So then, meditation is to stop the thoughts, to stop the thinking, to stop the words 
and just be. And when you do that, oh my gosh, you will find a bliss. Honestly, there are no words that can describe it. Absolutely none. It's peace. Your goal in life, it isn't happiness as much as it's peace and contentment. And you find that by being. Well, you've probably had a sample. When you're in the flow, you're not thinking. The greatest scientific minds, the greatest discoveries, the most wonderful art, it's created by people in the flow, not thinking, just being, and all that energy, and the know-hows flowing through them to create. Intelligence, creativity, is being in the flow. It's not about thinking. I really appreciate your clicking like and share. Spread the word because you want to help change the thought forms that are out there that are creating the pain. It's unnecessary and it's man-made. Thanks again for being here. Again, you can find me at Thrive. Don't just survive. Dot com.